Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to another vlog. And last night I went to the most uh, beautiful job um, information fair um, which was in the Lakes of Boulevard area of downtown which I'm looking for to move to because the garbage bins are more bigger and and they are more um quantity as my as my family grows so we we i'm i'm considering <clears throat> the job is with the toronto police it's handling the 911 calls, emergency calls and response, basically the communication, so um, I'm, I'm a lifesaver, says my Chinese friend, so that's the inspiration behind me. And there, and now I'm interested because I could test for hearing, reading comprehension. Um, I have to submit everything. Ignore the writing on my hand. I did just a note to myself. Um, but anyways, back to the topic at hand of the. Aaron Sanchez and Joe Biagini are now members of the Houston ha Astros. Um, Aaron Sanchez and Joe Biagini, Aaron Sanchez, Joe Biagini, David Phillips, Marcus Stroman, um, basically the Four or five starters of the Blue Jays, veterans have gone, like Marcus Stroman, um, uh, no, Justin Smoke, I believe, um, Joe Biagini, Aaron Sanchez, and there's one other, um, I I think there's only four four Blue Jays have left, and in place some um uh, what was that guy's name in Houston Astros? Um, hold on, the name is escaping my mind. Um, I I could describe him. He he was a uh, um, he has a beard, um, he has a beard, <laughs> and, um, it's a blonde, blonde hair, blonde beard, um, I forgot his name, I think his name is, uh, it starts with a Ben or something, anyways, um, he, the folk, the whole purpose of the 2019 Blue Jays is to rebuild because for some reason uh, Josh Donaldson ain't part of the team anymore. Edwin Encarnacion is not part of the team. Um, they've traded all the All-Stars and now they're rebuilding. That's the problem with Toronto teams. Rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuilding. I hate that word now. I want to go to Houston or I feel like cheering for the US teams now because I absolutely hate the word rebuild. Mother freaking shit, rebuilding. Why, why are always our Toronto teams always doing the rebuild? We are rebuilding. Why don't you contend for five years in the, in the, the Raptors have done it. Why not the Blue Jays this year? Why not the Leafs? 
I mean, enough of this stinking rebuilding. It's, it's not producing any results. It's getting the city mad. And also, I am also mad because our Toronto teams just freaking suck. <clears throat> Not like the Boston, Boston, and New York, Los Angeles, um, all those teams are are winning. They're at a winning mindset. The Toronto teams. I'm not. I'm not only saying the Blue Jays. The Blue Jay, I'm not putting someone under the bus, but I'm saying I'm just saying from an analysis point of view, is not good for business. Like the Rogers Center where the Blue Jays play, their attendance is lacking. You know why? Because. They're losing, they're losers, you know? You know what I'm saying? Um, why are they rebuilding? Why are they calling up Vlad Guerrero? Why are they calling up these little kids? Just, just trained veterans. Or oh, they should have kept Aaron Sanchez, Joe Biagini. Um, they should have kept their veterans. Like Batista, Donuts and Incarnation, but no, Rogers is just stupid. I'm sorry to put Rogers under the bus, but in a way, I I feel like the city of Toronto, me included, is going mad, saying, why are you trading your assets and bringing up these unknown young kids? Why are you rebuilding? Why don't you just contend? That's that's how your business will increase. Is if you start playing good and you start freaking winning the um winning winning in general sports, football, hockey, basketball, Baseball, um, otherwise I can find some other, I don't know what other things I have to do, do I have to, um, the point is I'm sick and tired of these Toronto teams. Always losing, 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 losing. Why not winning, winning, winning? And why are you calling up this, these unknown players who I don't know? Why don't you trade for Noah Syndergaard, uh, Masahiro Tanaka? Why don't you trade for these veteran players? Seriously, guys, I'm... I'm, uh, I mean, I'm still a fan of the Blue Jays, don't get me wrong, but the point is, I don't like them win losing. That's why I am hesitant to to attend any of the games because it's it's pretty boring losing, winning. It increases your business and frankly the Blue Jays, I'm sorry to say, is not doing good business in my mind of losing and I have to wait three years just to see a winning team. That doesn't make me a happy Torontonian, okay? Um mm. Like, you know what, the Rias and Rams, you know why they're winning? Because they have veterans in their lineup. They have, well, well, they, they are at least winning, filling up the building, selling out the 
will I work Matami Athletic Center. That's why I work part-time. And, and I love it, man. They should hire me as the GM and not some, oh, Ross Atkins. I mean, I mean, I don't agree with his, his or a mission of, of getting younger because younger doesn't win many championships. In the history of sports, no sports teams has ever won being young. The Houston Astros were one case, but in my own opinion, um, you don't have to follow the Houston Astros. Look at the St. Louis Blues. They were last place. They had veterans in the lineup and they won the Stanley Cup for the first time in their long history. And I am very positive about the Leafs' upcoming season. Um, I'm very positive because they have a young team. Well, not a young team, a young and experienced team from the Boston series of last year. Last year we went out in the first round and this year I bet you they will... I'm not trying to jinx the team because I don't believe in jinx. Um, but, but my... But I'm hoping that they make the playoffs and they should at least second or third round. That would make me happy. Or like especially if Toronto, Maple Leafs and Calgary Flames. That's my ideal Stanley Cup matchup. Because that would like increase Increase business for both the city of Toronto and the city of Calgary, which um, they have the same. Well, it's in Canada, so f for the first time since 90s, we haven't seen a, a Canadian Stanley Cup final. It's always been Boston. Detroit, um, St. Louis is new, so that doesn't count. Pittsburgh, I love Pittsburgh, by the way. Um, I guess, I guess if the Toronto keeps on losing, the Blue Jays, if they continue to lose, I will. Still be a fan, but I will observe the team and also at the same time observe Houston Astros, observe the New York Mets because the New York Mets, I think, have a possibility of squeaking into the um, playoffs because they have, what, veterans. That will wrap up my video for the day. Thank you all so much for watching my videos. Um, remember to smash that subscribe button. To let me just say 50,000 more subscribers. That's what I need to get to a million. Um, again, I'm not good at maths, so. Um, it's something like 500,000 more subscribers I, I, I want. That is my plea. And then I will start doing my online business of selling these BB creams and, and, um, this, uh, this, 
this these black hat removal things um maybe this arts and crafts um i could sell uh, this lamp that i'm using as a stand um if you guys come with me i'm using this as my as my youtube stand as you can see it's a light it's a it's good for like doing it's not doing a good job but it's at least doing what i see my uh youtubers doing like it's right above the eyes and then um yeah so peace peace out and i'll see you guys later peace